This is basically the first big project of my attic air sealing and insulation uh, project. First thing I'm gonna be doing, well, there's a lot of first things I'm, I'm gonna be doing, but let me just kind of go through them all. So I have fire block here, and this is for sealing around any uh, wire penetrations in the top plate. So anytime wire goes from the attic to the wall, into the wall stud, I'm gonna seal around that with fire block. Additionally, around the perimeter, I'm gonna be sealing with uh, this foam uh, around the top plate, uh, especially over here where the other unit uh, connects to my unit. I'm gonna be filling in uh, around here the gap between our two units with backer rod between my neighbor and my unit. Backer rod's gonna go in that little cavity and then I'm gonna shoot some great stuff on top of it to seal it up. Uh, we have mastic duct sealant. Uh, I'm gonna take off all this insulation, reseal uh, the duct work. I'm gonna reapply this insulation actually and then I'm gonna go over with another layer of insulation right here, uh, just to provide a little bit more insulation on it. We have this guy for the insulation to seal it all up. Got some more thicker backer rod just in case. Um, and then this aluminum flashing is actually gonna go with um, the uh, rock wool insulation to seal up this uh, chase right here furnace exhaust this is the fireplace exhaust and then you have a uh, an HVAC riser the supply riser and then the return that goes down so I'm gonna fill this cavity up just up here with uh, rock wool cover it up air seal it with this aluminum flashing and then also go around the the joints uh, with some fireproof caulk to seal that up because that's a major airflow uh, infiltration point. So right here, you have that gap right there. A lot of air comes in through there. So I'm gonna seal that up with the backer rod and then shoot great stuff on top of it to seal it all up. So this looks like they just, they seriously just drilled so many holes over here. I don't understand why, uh, but this, is exactly what I'm talking about. Just filling these up and that foam will expand in there. Make sure that nothing, no air will come in or go out through these holes. Yep. And we use fire block here because we just wanna make sure, you know, we're around electrical cables and we just wanna make sure that we got all our bases covered here. That might be enough. I don't know what's wrong with this. Oh, God. So the next thing we're gonna do, we've got an outlet over here. And we're also gonna get anywhere that air could come. So just all around these wires, even the knockouts that aren't open, usually have little, I mean, really what I should do is just cover this entire thing. Um, but that might, that might make it hard to remove at some point. But you really just want to make sure this entire perimeter is sealed up. Here's the thing. On this side, I haven't finished my new lighting project, so I'm not going to worry about anything over here. But... This side, I really don't have much else to seal up. So this is the master bedroom area. Um, all I have to seal up really is, uh, is this right here. It's where that ceiling fan comes out. Get this guy right here. This knockout protector thing. Now this was a 
the ceiling fans here were recently installed a few years before I moved in. So these are all pretty new junction boxes. All right. And then I'm not too worried about the insulation because I'm gonna come back in here and cover up this with about three more inches of insulation. And now there's one more area I wanna hit with the fire block. That is over here. We got this junction box right here. There we go. And then there's also some wiring that comes up right here. Gotta take care of. Make sure you get it under the wire. So I can feel a lot of cool air coming out of here. I've hit it with fire block already, but I feel like I need to seal this up a little bit better, especially right around here and right there. So this uh, orange stuff is the fire block hawk. No, sorry, the, the red stuff here. The orange stuff is the fire block foam. I still feel a lot of air coming out, so I think it's right at the seam where the plastic touches the metal casing right here. I probably should seal these seams up better, but it's an exhaust, so I don't think it matters that much. Uh, the fan does have a backdraft damper, so that's kind of the most important thing. All right, let's cover this up. Again, I know the insulation doesn't really fit that well, but we're going to be putting a new layer of insulation that's going to fill in all those gaps and cracks. All right. The next task is going to be uh, sealing that edge with backer rod. And for that, we're going to be using great stuff. Hopefully that flows a little better, but let's just test this out. So this is the gap I'm filling. Yep. Let's go with the bigger backer rod. Take it out. Basically a little bridge across. Just like so. Push that in. Here we go. Today, I'm going to work on air sealing up that uh, HVAC riser shaft. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to inspect my work over here. Looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So, for this rock wool insulation, which is very fireproof, so there's our riser. Basically, what we're going to do is just kind of fill this cavity as much as possible with this.
What I'm gonna do now is use this aluminum flashing to go around all the pipes, cut it out, and go around the pipes, seal it up. It's just about where we want it, right there. Time to hit it with the orange caulk right here. nearly perfect. Pretty happy with that. Sweet. Part of owning gloves, I guess, is they get dirty. Now this is the tricky part. Now I just have to hit that corner at some point. There's our dams. 